Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about using FFmpeg to fix an H.26 file so it'll work with a QuickTime player. So here I have a video from a security camera. And if I double click on this, it says the document feeder.mp4 could not be opened. It isn't compatible with QuickTime player. So I'll put a link in the description to a page that I have that um, tells you how to install FFmpeg on your Mac. But once you have it installed, you can open up your terminal. And then I'll CD to my desktop. And if I type FF probe, and then the name of the file, which is feeder, let me make this a little bigger. You'll see this is encoded with HEVC, which is 8.265, but it doesn't open up with QuickTime. We can type FF play and then feeder. You could also open up this file with VLC, but in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix it so it'll work with QuickTime. So what we're going to do is we're going to type ffmpeg space dash i space and then the name of the file. So that's our input file. Then we want to type dash codec space copy. So this will copy the codec for the audio and the video. Then we'll type space and then we'll type dash tag colon v space hvc1 space and then we'll type our output name. So I'm going to call it feeder underscore fixed dot mp4. So if we hit that, this will process incredibly fast. I and mean, if you have a big file, it might take a little while, but since it's copying everything and this computer has an SSD, it essentially just has to copy the file. So if we go to our desktop now, we'll see the two files. We see feeder and feeder fixed. If we double click on feeder fixed, we'll see it opens up in QuickTime and we can play this. And this doesn't look, this is a, you know, kind of a high res file, but um, I'm recording the screen at 720p, so it looks kind of funny. And uh, this black is due to privacy of blocking out the neighbor's yards. So another thing you can do is it also makes it so you can use quick view. So you can select this and hit the space bar and it'll bring up a little preview of your video. So that's how to fix a file, um, an H.265 file using FFmpeg. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.